Hello, my beautiful Aries. Oh, what was that card? So there's some indecisions. They definitely find you very sexy. And let's see what else. Oh, there's some choices being weighed here, Aries. Okay. So my beautiful Aries, welcome to your weekly love forecast for August 7th to the 13th. And guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Personal readings, again, are going to be closed until September now. So I had them open, as I told you, I was only going to take a limited amount of people, and now they are closed again. And I do have a free reading contest going on, though, and all the details will be at the end of this video. So stick with me till the end. All right, so as you guys know with the weeklies, we're going to do the day to day and then the overall, okay, for the love feelings, uh, the block delays and challenges, and then we're going to look at the overall outcome. So if you're confused at all, what's going on with the day to day, you can always find out by just sticking with me till the end for the overall outcome. Okay, so let's jump right in. I don't want to take up too much time. So let me just switch camera views. And I was able to get the camera so that it's, I get more cards in the view. So that's really good. All right, so let's jump right in here, Aries. Okay, Aries Romantic Love Life, August 7th to the 13th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's lay this down. And please remember that these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Okay, so isn't that great? I can get all the cards now in there. It's great. All right, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I know the simple things that I get happy about. <laughs> Camera views. <laughs> okay. All right, so. All right, so there. All right, my beautiful Aries, let me just tune in here to see what I feel. Okay, I feel like someone is definitely very distraught about you. Okay, I feel like. Um, there's definitely this sense of hurt and pain because uh, they just really just want to hold on to you okay so let's move on to the first day here so there seems to be on the seventh a lot of contemplation going on a lot of over analyzing uh, you can see this person in this this they're looking in the book and they're just like you know and there's this music in the background so they're they're trying to bring things in harmony with you uh, and uh, they're trying to see what's blocking this connection. If I, if you look here, right here in this card, you see way, way in the background, there's a mountain there. So this person's trying to get a clear view. Of what is the blockages, delays, and challenges? And so they're trying to figure that out by analyzing things and contemplating things. Now, remember, these are general messages, so take it as it resonates. If this is you or the other person, so it could be vice versa here, okay? So just remember that. And then we see on the next day, on the 8th, it seems like there is this sense of, oh my God, I'm missing an opportunity. Uh, um, this person seems like they're taken aback and they're trying to figure out what's going on with this situation. And then it looks like on the 9th here, you guys gain all the answers that you need. There's clarity here, right? There seems to be this sense of victory and this truth about the situation. And, um, so I feel like uh, things are very clear there. You have a clear understanding. You're gaining the answers. You're no longer confused on this day here. So let's clarify further here what's going on for the next three days. Remember, this is August 7th, 8th, 9th. Okay. Aries Romantic Love Life, August 7th to the 13th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. Let's see here. So we see that the reason why the hermit card is there is because of an opportunity. So there seems to be a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing about, wow, there's this opportunity here. This is really important. You know, um, it's almost like this person wants the key to your heart there with that, that uh, key card energy. And then we see the reason why the four of cups is here. Because remember the four of cups is like, okay, I have these opportunities or these things being presented that I feel indifferent, indifferent about. Or for some of you, maybe a situation where, oh my God, I don't want to miss this opportunity because of this argument, this fight, this hurt or pain. An opportunity because of hurt and pain or an opportunity because of some arguments or disputes or this opportunity. I don't want to keep repeating these same patterns. And then we see the Ace of Swords energy. There's clarity here on the ninth. What is this clarity about? Yes, the Sun card in Lenormand can say, okay, there's things that are being revealed to you. Okay, that's 
literally what the sun means. It can be saying, this is being revealed, there's truth being revealed, okay? Because I know from the card here that the fact that there's feathers here and the fact that everything seems to be pretty open, that things are being revealed. And there's also a sense of happiness because the sun card for Lenormand can represent happiness. So we see there's an opportunity because of this hurt and pain is being revealed or because of the fact you're like, you know what, I don't wanna keep repeating these patterns. I have the clarity. I know what makes me happy here with the sun card energy. Now let's go further here on this. Aries Romantic Love Life for August 7th to the 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. And also, let me see if I can move this over a little bit just to, to cover some more of that light there. So you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. All right. I'm trying to. Sorry, guys. Okay. Aries, Romantic, Love Life, August 7th to the 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's clarify further. But before we do that, let's ask Spirit, what do you need to know that you don't know that could help you with your situation? What does Aries need to know about their romantic love life for August 7th to the 13th that they don't know that they need to know? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look at this Aries. All right, so they're saying that a decision is going to be made and it's gonna be a win-win outcome for you, okay? And also, what's the energy on that Libra? It's a sense of balance there. Again, guys, for this week, prosperity lies ahead for you guys. And we got the Taurus energy, which Taurus energy is a second house that can represent money and family, okay? Stability and stableness, that's definitely Taurus energy, strong energy there, okay? And it's also saying believe in the impossible. And that energy is the blue moon using your intuition. That's what I feel like. Your intuition, open your intuition, know that it's possible. And yeah, don't let your past hold you back. And we got that whip card energy it's talking about these possibly for some of you, some kind of repeating patterns. So be careful about that. You know, you, you have an awareness about these repeating patterns here. Okay. When it comes to these opportunities, but okay. So let's go through this. What do you need to know that you don't know that you need to know? Okay. So a decision needs to be made this week and understand that the decision is going to lead to prosperity ahead. So just don't let your past hold you back. That's a K2 energy, right? Don't have a sense of confusion. That's also K2 energy right? Use your intuition. That's K2 energy too, because that is talking about um, spirituality because K2 is a very spiritual node. And then we see that um, the believe in the possible spirits, like you are manifesting this. You finally are manifesting this in your romantic love life. This decision, the sense of justice for some of you, a just choice, a just decision, right? Marriage, divorce for some of you. Okay. So, so we see Going here on the 10th, it's saying that this person wants to hold on to you. And I see a person in the background here, okay? And whether you know it or not, they're there. You're looking ahead there, but that other person's looking at you and they wanna hold on to you. They wanna be with you with the Four of Pentacles energy. And why is that there? See, the star card is coming out. There is hope here with the star card energy or wishes and hopes here with the star card energy. If I have a look above this, it's like I wanna hold on to you because I don't wanna miss this opportunity. I feel so hurt about this, Aries, and I'm really hopeful of a positive outcome here. Okay, so going further on this, okay, so let's clarify even further, right? There's an opportunity here. There's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching. There's an understanding that this connection is a lot deeper here. There seems to be this obsession, the strong desires and strong attachments here, and this hurt and pain about missing this opportunity. And then the truth is being revealed about a reconciliation for some of you, okay? Or healing here with the renewal of the past. And then we see what's going on here. You're gaining knowledge about the fact that they want to hold on to you, that they're really hopeful about the situation of the star card energy. And then Ten of Swords, finally, at the 11th, things come to a completion. They come to a head here with the Ten of Swords energy. What's that about? because there's a text message, a letter, a written document, okay, for some of you, possibly paperwork for some of you, okay, with that letter card energy coming through. 
let's see what that's about mm -hmm. this is what the opportunity is so so pay attention to this day it's a really important day keys represent importance they also can say yes okay so things finally come to a completion because there's this opportunity here for this text messages facebook messages written communication happening and then we see the next day eight of wands again on the 12th which talks about communication okay something coming in fast for some of you with the eight of wands energy and loving communication or they want this to go fast because they love you heart cart energy and what's that about because there's been a lot of deep heavy soul searching here with the isolation card or this person just feels isolated and separated from the situation from you and then we have at the last day the 13th it's like there seems to be a lot of people in this card and it's like there's a want to fight for you it seems like a lot of play fighting a lot of people seem like you know normally this card seems like okay there's a lot of people they're they're arguing they're fighting but on this day it seems like there's a playful energy almost a play fight like uh, three people in this card so there may be a, some competition or there may be more than one person trying to fight for your attention here on this day yeah a fox card energy somebody's being very strategic about this with the fox card energy because they want to make the efforts so let's go through this in layers here guys and then we're going to move on to your love interest feelings the block shillies and challenges this week and then the overall outcome okay so we see here there is a spiritual connection okay our spiritual lessons and there's obsessions about a reconciliation to gain knowledge about this opportunity there's been a lot of deep heavy soul searching or i don't want to isolate myself because i'm ready to make this effort because i feel like this is great love here okay let's move this out of the way aries okay going further on this there's an opportunity here because the hurt and pain is being revealed, which brings hope about this message of love. And somebody's being very strategic, or, or they're doing it in a very sly, slick way with that uh, fox card energy. Okay, going further. And don't worry, we're going to sum up everything. This is just the day today. So we're going to sum up everything at the end. So stick with me till the end. Okay, so there's a lot of analyzing about this missed opportunity and there's clarity that's going to be gained this week so you're going to gain the answers that you need this truth is going to come out about i want to hold on to you i want to hold on to you for success and i'm ready to overcome this hurt and pain ten of swords energy and i want to move it this fast and i want to fight for this five of wands energy we look at the numbers of this a lot of analyzing about stability and stableness because of an opportunity for stability and stableness for the sense of completion and accomplishment to put the work or effort into this change five card energy okay so now let's take a look at your love interest feelings for you very good week so far yes guys i want to hear from you guys in the comments below let's keep going here all right so let's take a look at the feelings all right six of swords energy oh my god so your love interest whoever you had on your mind whoever was pressing on your mind this is the person that we're going to be finding out about right now okay so oh my goodness for a wands energy man this these, this individual is very serious okay but let's see what the block chilean challenges this week okay so king of swords the block of delays and challenges this week is the king of swords energy which to me it feels like this energy of man there's an appreciation here but somebody is like they're trying to say all the right things and do all the right things here with the king of swords energy um but obviously there's an appreciation for you okay but it's like you i feel like you guys are like i need to be logical here i need to use my head and be wise in my decision making yes i would like to use my heart here but i really want to just be logical so there's a lot of logical energy which is part of the block and challenge this week for your romantic love life gemini libra aquarius energy or it could be a gemini libra aquarius energy going further on this okay the snake card energy this is obviously the feelings again so let's see what the block chilean challenge is yes side card is saying a decision that needs to be made okay okay or cutting away some things cutting some things out cutting um you know cutting away things from the uh unhealthy things from the past because remember we saw that you can't let your past hold you back this week okay now going further Oh my goodness that person is missing you okay block chilean challenge yep there we go the regrets card is coming out so obviously there is a lot of focus on the past so be careful about this don't let the past hold you back you're gonna have to make some kind of decision here and try to use your heart instead of logic to make that decision okay 
Okay, so now let's take a look at this love interest, who you're here for, who you wanna know about. Whoever is pressing on your mind here, let's take a look at what's going on with this person. And let's move these cards this way. Okay, so you can see it clearly. Okay, so it looks like this person would like to overcome any challenges with you. They like things to heal, okay? They want to move in a direction here in a serious direction here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. They're ready for some of you for a to give you an offer here, a serious offer, or they want some kind of serious potential here. And it's something to do with marriage and long-term commitment here. Okay, and they say there's they feel strong desires and these emotions and they feel a bit stressed about it. They want a decision from you or they're at a crossroads because they really miss you. And this is really shocking and surprising to them. Okay, so let's now move into the overall outcome here. So the sun card is coming out. So this is really going to make you happy. Okay, there's a great awakening here. Um, because of this trapped energy it's like somebody who doesn't want to face their their thoughts and this person feels left out in the cold by you so things are being revealed again the sun card energy luck is on your side there's a happy energy because somebody's like oh man i feel stuck and i i don't want to be left out in the cold here with the five of pentacles energy yep star card is coming out there's hope here for healing they're hoping to heal things with you because of family and long-term commitment here Going further on this, the child card is saying, okay, I want a fresh start, new opportunity, and to overcome these blockages, delays, and challenges, and you're going to hear news about this, okay? Or they even may pay you a visit, because the writer card talks about good news, and it's movement here, and it's a movement towards passions here, and why? Because of the fact that they don't want to be left down the cold, and they have the stuck energy, so they're hopeful of healing things with family and long-term commitment for a fresh start, new opportunity, or some of you, there's something to do with a child involved in this situation, right? Which is part of the block delays and challenges, but there's you're going to hear news from there. You're going to hear from them is going to be things revealed this week about it that's going to be very hopeful in this situation all right my beautiful aries i love you guys so much if you guys like to hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both all right as i guys i told you the weeklies are the because i want to stay on schedule the next reading that's going to come out is the next six months so that'll definitely bring a lot more information and after that the x returns um also for the free reading contest all you have to do is put love in the comments below obviously it's free to enter free to get involved and i'm going to be picking two people at the end of august for a free personal reading i love you guys so much i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i will see you soon